Okay, we'd like to welcome you to the April 14th meeting of the Ware Board of Selectmen. If you would stand, please, we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the floor is open for public comment. If there's anyone here to speak in public comment, yes, please. You could start by stating your name. My name is James Butcher. Um, I was uh, wondering why there's no results in the investigation of why Alex Cora was killed. It's been uh, almost eight months now since that happened in uh, this community, and uh, there's still been no answers. And uh, I've been trying to get some answers, but it seemed like I'm getting stonewalled from the AG. So I was just wondering if there might be anything the Board of Selectmen could do to put pressure on the Attorney General's office to. Uh, maybe get some answers or some sort of resolution in this case because just having it up in the air is kind of not good for the community and in January they said they were going to need another two months well it's been almost three months since they said that so I mean if uh, if in his attempt to flee he was using his vehicle as a deadly weapon then that should have been pretty pretty easy to find out by now or not and uh, you know, the, the death of anyone at the hands of the police requires an explanation you know, the sooner the better, and uh, I guess you know we're all awaiting the results of the attorney uh, attorney general's investigation into you know Mr. De Jesus's his death, and uh, you know we want to know if it's justified or not, and just just wondering what's going on there. If uh, there's anything you can maybe do to uh, try to expedite the process, and uh, you know try to get some uh, some answers to what happened and where that day. In uh, August 19th, it's been a it's been a long time with no answers. So I was just wanted to make my comment on that. Okay, thank you. Just to respond to that, um, Chief Faleka is in regular contact with the Attorney General's office, and uh, we really have to just be patient, as frustrating as it may be until they finish their investigations. Uh, the reason for the timeline, I don't know. But I think it's very important that we keep politics separate from the justice system. And for us to get involved, uh, except through the chief of police, in uh, who is uh, in contact with them on a regular basis, um, you know, I, I don't believe for a minute they're stonewalling. I don't know what answers they're looking for that they don't have, but um, there have been another in, a, a number of other incidents I know that have come up that uh, don't relate to this that have taken up time with the Attorney General's office, other serious incidents, other shootings, and so forth. Whether that's part of their t their holdup or not, I don't know. but. Uh, you know, I, I think to get politically involved in something like that is not appropriate. That's my personal feeling. I'm not saying that for the board. Okay. Um, I guess can I respond to that just briefly? Certainly. I uh, I don't really think it's like a political thing, really, but um, I guess I kind of like misunderstand there. I think it's just like you know a thing for the you know community thing, really. You know, it's uh, it's not a partisan thing. It's not a left or a right thing. It's just you know. The, the citizens in the uh, you know, community and the people of, you know, where and the surrounding areas kind of just, you know, would like some answers. And I don't, you know, they think it involves anything too, too much like, you know, partisan politics. No, know? no, I, I, I agree. But I, I think that they're well aware of that. It, they have no reason not to make their findings once they have everything that they feel they need. Um, beyond that, I, you know, said what I have to say. Okay. I, um, Any other board like members? Letter that I wrote out. Oh, absolutely. Uh, sure. So I feel on it. You can read that. Okay. Um, any, any other board members? Well, I think the fact that you're showing up here today and probably some other people showing up here today make similar comments that are going to go into official meeting minutes of our selectmen's meeting uh, will absolutely be helpful. I think that some pressure or some some discussions about it instead of people just sitting back and 
and waiting and not saying anything is a good thing. And I think it, if it literally helps them move things along, I don't know, but at least they know that we're not just, it hasn't been forgotten. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank everybody. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Yes. <coughs> Uh, my name is Peter Bailey. <clears throat> I live in Ware. And uh, I had emailed the Board of Selectmen uh, probably about two weeks ago about my goal was to make sure that we were communicating with the Attorney General's office. Not that there was any particular information that I wanted or anything. I just wanted to make sure that we had a chain of communications. And much to my surprise, I found out that we didn't. So I said, well, I said, let's um, talk to our state reps because they're the next people up the chain. So I contacted Neil Kirk. I contacted Mike Warden, Evelyn Connor, Gary Hopper. <clears throat> Mark came up with a very good idea. He said, well, perhaps we should talk to your executive counselor. They're the ear to the governor. So I called, uh, talked to uh, Colin Van Osteren. <clears throat> and um, very, very helpful, got right back to me. All of the state reps were very receptive to the idea of what I was trying to do, and um, very productive and helpful. At this point right now, my understanding is that from the Attorney General's office, the report is complete, and you should be getting result in a week, two weeks. So all in all, I think it was, that was a success. Um, the only thing that I do ask is that I think that after you've read the report, done all the preliminary information that you need to do as a selectman, that the report gets shared with the community. Um, I don't think that all matters need to be shared with the with the community, but this event was um, pretty tragic for, for the community, for all the people involved, and it's going to be life-changing for some people. So, <clears throat> uh, and I think it's important that the citizens of the town, they'll decide what the outcome is going to be in the end. So. I'll take any comments, any? Really, I've said what I um, have to say to the young gentleman who spoke before you. Um, I agree with, with Selectman Bacass in that people speaking up, that word's going to get back and perhaps move the process along and let them know that we're concerned. Um, as far as direct involvement by the board in it, I've already stated uh, by position on well, that. Well, I think it did. I mean, I don't know if timing was everything or whatever, but, you know, the end result was the attorney general did get back to the state reps. The state reps got back to me, uh, and the report is complete. So let's move on and see if we can... As far, as far as, you know, anything that's public knowledge will be... be Released, obviously, yeah, so I'm just and if there's you know, no uh, have a meeting or post the post the results or, or whatever it was. So I'm sure we'll have I'm sure we'll have reporters from all the local papers yeah. knocking on our doors. Well, you know what? So. The reason that I talked to the selectman the first time and I emailed you was just that reason. I don't like reading things in the paper, and what you read in the paper is not always the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I figured I'd come right here and talk to you about it, and that's the reason that I emailed you. One thing that we've done, I, I believe, that we've developed a pretty good rapport with the reporters that cover where and and uh, for both the union leader and the uh, Concord Monitor, two major papers, and I think uh, they've been pretty pretty straightforward. Most of the articles that they've written, whether it's about this or other things, important issues in town, uh, have been pretty balanced, I, yeah. I believe. I just hope that something positive comes out of this. It's been a real yeah. it's, it, it is. We, we Thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening. 
Mr. Chairman and this committee. I'm Representative Mark Morton. I live in Godstown, but my state rep district does cover where Godstown, Ware, and Deering. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't planning to speak, but I wanted to, uh, I was inspired by these other gentlemen and just want to say that also I'm keeping a close eye on this. Uh, where PD has had its history of making bad news mm -hmm. in the last couple of years from uh, threatening business owners to arresting people for simply um, audio or video recording traffic stops. And this is just another in our series. So I think it, it's good that you all are aware of what's going on. We all believe in transparency and accountability in government at all levels. And as much as we'd like to think that, uh, I won't put words in your mouth, it's something to the fact that uh, jurisprudence and politics should be separate. Uh, it doesn't happen that way. Unfortunately, they're inextricably intertwined, and there's a lot of overlap. I'm on the Criminal Justice Committee in the State House, so I'm keenly interested in seeing how the process works. And uh, certainly we'll be watching the outcome of the report from the Attorney General Office as well. And, uh, let's hope justice is served. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let me ask you a question, Mark. Yes, sir. Uh, as a rep, do you have any uh, sway as far as uh, communicating with the Attorney General Office? I wouldn't say I have any sway. They do respond to my emails. I sent an email to an assistant or deputy attorney general, and she responded right away uh, regarding this case, but she wasn't very forthcoming. She said essentially what you heard earlier, which is, we're about finished with the report, and this is just from Friday. Uh, we're about finished with the report. It'll be coming out very shortly, and I'll share that with you. She also said that there were other things that came up, and that's why there's so delayed. There are so many delays. And I suggested that whether it's true or not, the public perception may be that there's a cover up, or they're not being forthcoming, or they're hiding something. She said, Of course, no, that's not the case. There's just some delays. So I'm fairly low level uh, legislator. But uh, certainly, I have her ear, and I'll be seeing her tomorrow on another uh, issue. Mm -hmm. For what it's worth, I'll just keep keep it alive. At least they know that we're paying attention. It's been the experience, I think. Unfortunately, when that report comes out, we'll probably hear about it when we pick up the newspaper on the morning that it comes out. That's when we'll hear about it. So. Probably all have the same. Well, the fact is, we can't we can't undo what's been done. Somebody being killed, and uh, his family will never be made whole. But as the selectmen, you do have the power to uh, oversee the police department, and this is just one more thing to inform your decisions going forward on how that is managed. Just to respond to that piece. Uh -huh. Um, we're in the middle of a huge transition. You know, everyone's well aware that we have a new chief, uh, but with a small department, we we've, we've have over half of the department now who are new officers, uh, either in the academy or about to enter the academy. So by August of this year, we will have I'll be back at full staff, and I believe six, was it six out of the 11 will be newly trained officers, uh, basically uh, picked by our new chief. So, you know, we're looking forward to uh, better press, but beyond that, uh, a more uh, community-based police force. And... Um, you know, I, I think we've got the right person to do that in charge over there, and we communicate well with him. And um, he is thoroughly going through all of the policies and procedures of the department to see that they're updated and followed appropriately. Um, so I, I, th I think you're going to see, I really believe you're going to see a substantially different type of department. Well, let's hope so, and for what it's worth... I, I don't mean just you, you're in Gosstown, but well, <laughs> for anybody here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're safe driving I, through. I think it's fantastic that this board <clears throat> took 
took such a good look at privatizing the police force. Most people, uh, government actually would say maybe that's not a good idea, but it sure was a wake up call, the existing police department. So I salute you for taking the time to delve into that, to research that idea, and uh, show these guys that they're not uh, above the law. Well, I voted strongly against that, so <laughs> just, just saying, so you I'm know. Not, I'm not saying for or against it, but the point is it got their attention and it, it shows them that people are watching. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else for pub public comment? Um, Jan? Jan? Now, does this relate to what we're talking about here, or, or just no. some totally different? <laughs> okay. Um, last week, I don't know if anybody found out information on this about the flood uh, control reimbursement.